Okay, what is everybody today? We're back again with another video and today we're back out here on Tevaroa National Park and we are going to be going out hunting some sea deer and we're going to be trying to use the longbow as much as possible. I am going to be bringing the M1 just in case we need it but my aim is that we are going to try and use just the longbow for today. Uh, I haven't really practiced too much with this so this should be interesting. I know to sort of aim with this arrow kind of slightly to the left of where the shaft ends and then you'll basically hit spot on but not too sure. Uh, let me quickly make sure though that I also have the red deer collar with me just so that we can actually bring in the secret deer as well because actually does the deer grunt collar work? Let's use the deer grunt collar just because it has that little bit of a longer range but um, I'm debating where we're going to go on like which trip. Uh, I feel like maybe we're going to start going down the this lake here, then move out down here, go along this whole riverway here, go up here then maybe, and then probably finish up by going along this way, seeing what we can find. If we spook the animals, I will be using the M1 like I said, but I'm going to be trying to do my best to just get them to come in and be as close as possible, so hopefully we can manage that. Not really what I was expecting, but there is a max weight. Red deer over there, seven. Uh, he just kind of walked in. And I feel like this could be a good proof of concept to see where we have to aim. Pretty sure we hit a lung on him. Because um, he is going down rather quickly. But then again, ouch. Using the longbow. Uh, generally that is going to happen. Even if you get a bad shot, they will go down pretty quickly. Just because you have so much power with the actual bows. But I guess this is a good place to start off with and kind of hit right where we aimed pretty much right on the shoulder blade so why don't we have a look and yeah we hit the shoulder blade nice gold red deer to start off with very happy about that maybe aimed a little bit high but still we got the lung on this guy so I'm not gonna complain i did see some seeker deer over here uh just that i kind of lost where it was going <laughs> Because I just heard those red deer and was like, oh, look, we can get a nice shot on him. But maybe, maybe, just maybe I can respot them again. It wasn't anything big. It was just. Oof, okay, there's a three there. I preferably want to get him. So why don't I try calling? He is currently alert, but. If we can call him in, that'd be a great way to start this off. Let me actually get down, turn off sprinting and let's just try and see he's still attentive i also brought tree stands i don't know if i mentioned that in the intro but i did bring myself some tree stands but uh, i can't place it right now because otherwise i'm just going to scare him away and i'd like to still keep an advantage i am for some reason really well hidden here so i am just going to stay here he is coming straight towards us plus i think he's a red spotted which is probably one of my favorite ones. I haven't actually seen the albinos yet, so we still have to get one of those. Only problem I have, if he goes further up that way, I might not be able to really see him. But let me just continuously calling him in, and then we'll see. Once I can see him, I'll shoot him straight away. Oh, there he is. Never mind. Hello there, buddy. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> that went easy. That went really simple. Can we look where we hit him? I want to know where we hit him. So we apparently went right through him. Like right through him. And that looks to be double lung. Maybe even caught the vertebrae on that. Not too sure, but let's have a look. Spotted, double lunged him. That's a pretty good shot, not gonna lie. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. Here's his true score. was at a little bit of an awkward pose but hey i'm not gonna complain he looks very nice he's just a spotted though he's not the red spotted but still a nice secret here what do we have there did we call in another one okay, that's just a female but is there maybe some males with them oh there's a male right there a nice three why don't we continue to call and slowly move towards him this is going a lot better than i thought and we are decently hidden here, actually, to be fair. Look, if I crouch down, 
Uh, actually, we're not too hidden here anymore. But look, there's just a good amount of secret. If we can call in the males before the females spook, that'd be good. But even then, I think I could still take down all the females, right? Because, yeah, look, we're basically creating zero hunting pressure at the moment. So if I could spook the females and still get one of them, why don't we try that? Okay, drop that one. Drop that one. Okay, that one's going to flee, but that's not going to spook the males, is it? I'm pretty sure it shouldn't. Nice look. No, they're still calm. Okay, perfect. And then, yeah, we just spooked two females. Got two of them down, though. So, in total, we killed four animals here, and look at how little hunting pressure we have. I feel like if we continue shooting at one spot, we could actually erase the entire hunting pressure off of the map and just have, like, a tier 2 hunting pressure somewhere. I feel like we could do that, but... That's not the end of this video. I still want to try and get these male sea deer in. Try and get maybe one or two of them down. And is they is they are they already coming back? Are you serious? They're already coming back. I mean, I don't mind if I do. Let's look. There we go. I am getting pretty confident with this Alexander Longbow, not gonna lie. I, I do really like this now. Like once you start to get to know where you have to aim, it's not as hard. And here's the first one. <laughs> Dark spotted. I accidentally picked that one up. But got the females down. Plus the spook radius of the bows also was decreased. Ooh, there's a nice four back there. Definitely want to try and get him. But I think he's going to come in first. So let's try and get this guy. And then I don't want to take any risks with that guy back there. But let's pick up this female real quick. Left lung stomach shatter. And he's coming in way, way close. Let's look. Can I get a 40 meter shot on him, maybe? Oh, overshot that one. Okay, I'm not going to hit that one. Did the other ones notice it? Did the other guys notice it? I hope they didn't. Okay, now they're still calm. Where's the big guy? Where is the max weight estimate for? Is he there? There he is, okay. Cool, so they're still still calm. Messed up the shot on that three, but I gotta mess up one at some point, don't I? <laughs> it was bound to happen. I'm not sure if I put up a tree stand now, if that's gonna spook them. I feel like it might. But I'm not sure. Oh, but that guy looks really big. I know he has no chance of making diamond, but still, he looks really, really good. So let's pick up the spotted female here. We... Oof. Left lung, liver, stomach, and intestine shatter. Jeez, that is insane. I really want to try and get a tree stand up, though. Can I get one on this tree right here? I, I just want to try it out. If we spook him, then we spook him. But let's just try that. Let's enter this. And we spooked him, okay. Ouch. Um. Well, I think I'm just going to try and sit here, then. And see if I can maybe get them to come back in. Because they don't seem to be too too skittish. And they seem to come back pretty quickly. But yeah, he's fleeing at a good bit away. But that one's still calm. So maybe we can get that male coming in. And look, the three that we spooked just before is already coming back as well. The four is still running a good bit away. But I feel like I could try and get this three still in and then... We might just have to wait a little bit for that max weight four to come in. Okay, so they don't seem to be interested in coming in. Um, I think he's not actually calm. I think that that guy is actually... Um, nervous, but he's just showing up as calm. And they're coming in quick, like their zone is already right there. So I think what we're just going to try and do is get up close to them and the trees there. And then just try and take either the four or one of the other threes out, depending on which one is closest. And then we're going to move on to the next lake, because I don't want to spend the entire video at one spot. I do want to have a look at what we have at some other locations as well. We've got another three back there. 
Not too sure why he's moving. Oh, he's probably coming into the call. <laughs> Oops. Well, a bit late, buddy. If you would have come like a minute earlier, I would have still gotten you. But now let's just try and get to these guys back here. And yeah, you can just see how little hunting pressure we have here. Like, we shot, I don't know how many now. Like, four or five things. And there is barely any hunting pressure here. Like, this is like tier one hunting pressure. And we barely have any pressure left at any of the other lakes. So this is probably going to be one of the best ways to maybe get rid of hunting pressure even if you're trying to grind for a certain animal and you just don't have enough in-game cash to put down tree stands, uh, not tree stands, um, tripod stands, and you try and always get three at one spot, then maybe using this method of bowing some animals might be a good way to get rid of hunting pressure now. That's definitely something that I want to try out and maybe make a guide on it, but... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to try and test it out properly and investigate how time consuming this is, versus just going somewhere else and shooting a ton of rabbits or ducks, which is what I currently do, if I don't have any tripod set up. I am really debating right now if I should just try and take out this three. But I'm scared that I'll spook the other ones away as well because he is literally nine meters in front of me. Oh, but I really want to get that four. I just don't feel super comfortable taking a, a 40 or slash 35 meter shot with the longbow. I'm just not by any means good enough for that with it. Like we just saw that when I was trying to get one. So we might try and move over here. Please don't tell me that red deer are going to come through here now and ruin the whole business. There's two fives though. Where is the secret here though? Please don't tell me you're fleeing. Okay, they're not fleeing. I feel like he is attentive though. Like he definitely has the movement of like being attentive. Just look how close these red deer are getting. Jeez. Okay, the red deer is spooking. I don't think that should spook the secret here though. I'm pretty sure that that should still be standing there. Is it? Yeah, look, he's still standing there. Okay, 25 out. I feel like we could take the shot. So let's just get up here. Let's mark him. Boom. Down he goes. Is there another one? Don't think there is, but he got the four down. Oh, let's just have a look where we hit him. Oh, that was perfect. We got a nice left lung, liver, and stomach hit. 173, so he was at the top of his estimate, which is kind of what I thought he'd be. But yeah, this guy does look really, really cool. Definitely, for sure. I might even tax that guy. He looks really nice. I like the way that guy looks. But spent a lot of time at this lake now, so why don't we move on and run down this coast and then go to this lake because we are kind of running a little bit out of time because how long do these guys drink? Oh, they're till 12. Okay, so we still have a little bit of time then. But let's go to the coast now and look what we can find there. Well, would you look at that? We've got Seeker Deer coming in from back there. We've got Seeker Deer coming in from over there. And we've got some Seeker Deer coming in from there. I just wanted to make sure that I keep them attracted and coming in. But... I feel like these guys are going to come in first, then him, and then lastly him. So this could work out pretty well. So we could maybe get three or four down if the timing works out well. And if these guys over here come in as spread out as they are right now, we might even technically be able to get down a lot more than just one per group. But then again, that all just depends on how fast they're coming in. Because these guys over here, oh, that's a level one. I haven't seen one of those yet. Are coming in fast as well. So I'm just hoping that the three, he's taking his time. Okay, that's good. These guys are coming in real quick though. First one is here now. How far away is he? 23. Why don't we take a shot? Please tell me you're just going to stay calm. Perfect. Is that going to alarm these guys? Okay, they're just going to go alert. Perfect. He's alert as well. 
This guy is alert, but I feel like we could potentially get him. Ah, he's turning away. I really don't want to spook that 1-3 though. I really do not want to spook that 3 over there because he looks very nice. And I definitely want to go ahead and try and get him. But I might have to take that one of these first. Just depending on how quickly they actually come in. They're both very closely coming in. Uh, I think I'm going to get the 3 first. Okay, got those guys. Uh, I should probably call again as well. They might be leaving just because of the call is over and they are no longer feeling the need to come in. But we got all three of those, which I'm surprised about. Are there any more back there? No. How is this three going? He's calm, but he's walking away. Are these guys not coming in? Do I have to recall them? I might have waited too long to do another call but uh, i don't know come on not level one is coming in closer again and not three is coming in as well that guy looks very very dark i don't know if the secret here have melanistic fur variation but that guy looks really really dark so i might try and get a three with a bow and then him or depending on which one comes in closer or first um, let's take out this one though as well, because otherwise he is going to spook, and that was a bad shot. I don't think they care. He is going to go down though, so, plus I don't really care about him too much, he's just a level 3, but they're attentive slash calm, so let me just call these guys in a little bit more. Now, I do really think that this guy is a red spotted, uh, this guy just... He doesn't look as black anymore, so I think he's just a normal black variation. so I think that was just a lighting thing, but let's get ready to take out this guy here, because he is coming in very, very closely. He's just standing at a very bad angle, but if we aim that slightly back, I feel like we should be fine. <sighs> okay, let's just take that guy out with the M1 then. Um. Okay, we messed up the shot anyway, so... Let's just bring him down. That should do it. That should do the trick just fine. But did that secret so just stand back up? Well, let's pick up these guys first here. Let's have a look. Left lung on him. Nothing too crazy. Then double lunged him, I would assume. Uh, lung, liver, stomach. Nothing crazy. Just another silver. Then another silver for this guy. Surprised we got him, but we got him with a vertebrae and a lung hit. Now, the question is, where are the other guys here? I assume I should see the blood here somewhere. Here are the other two. Here's the one that I thought that looked melanistic, but yeah, that's just a black variation. And we skull shot him. And then this right here should be the red spotted one. Where did we hit him? Oh, I think we might have gone through the head, which is what prevented us. Yeah, see? We went through the head. He would have been a red spotted, though. <sighs> that sucks. That really does suck. That does suck a lot. I wish we wouldn't have messed this guy up. He would have looked really, really cool, but... Can't get them all. Now, I think our one should have died as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and track him down. And I think that's going to be it for today then because their drinking zone is about to end. Uh, some of them end at 11.30 and some of them end at 12. And we might have to track this one for a long time. And well, our one didn't run too far. But then again, we also bow shot him. I kind of forgot about that. I'm just curious where we messed up. Ah, we were aimed a little bit too far to the right. Otherwise, that would have been a pretty good hit. Tiny secret here though. Nothing crazy. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had an absolute blast doing this with the Alexander Longbow. Longbow. And I think we should try and do that again with another species here on Tevaroa. We might try it with maybe something like some Falodir or something similar of that sort. But if you guys did enjoy, please do remember, hit that like button. It really does help the channel out a lot. It just shows me that you guys enjoy the content that I produce here. 
Then, if you're also new here or you just haven't done so yet, please do make sure to subscribe as we are so, so close to 1,000. If we could reach it by Christmas, that would be absolutely insane. <coughs> oh. Sorry for that. Um, and yeah, if you haven't done so as well, make sure to join the Discord. Link to that is down below in the descriptions. We have competitions running there and we have a good bit of fun there and we also always help you guys out if you need any help also have a good day bye bye and peace